Smile and learn. Today we're going to learn everything about fungi. Which of these organisms would you say is a fungus? All of them are fungi. Let's learn more about these organisms. The fungal kingdom, also called fungi kingdom, is one of the five kingdoms into which all living things are divided. Note that fungi are not animals or plants. Fungi are living organisms because they carry out the vital functions of interaction, reproduction, and nutrition by themselves. Some fungi, like yeasts, are unicellular microorganisms not visible in plain sight. To observe them, we need to use a microscope. Other fungi are multicellular. These are composed of many cells, grouped together forming long, thin strings called hyphas. Hyphas form the reproductive structures. The mushrooms, or the mold, contain spores by which fungi reproduce. We usually find fungi under the ground, on pieces of wood, or on decayed food. Fungi are formed by one or many eukaryotic cells. Fungi eukaryotic cells are enveloped by a cellular wall and contain no chlorophyll. Remember, they're not animals or plants. Fungi cell groupings don't form tissues, as in the case of animals, they form hyphas. Some fungi are edible and very tasty, like mushrooms or truffles. Careful, some can be toxic. There are other foods, like some types of cheeses, that have fungi in them. Roquefort cheese, for example. There are some fungi harmful to our health that may cause skin or lung diseases. Some fungi produce antibiotic substances used as medicines to fight bacterial infections. One of the most well-known and widely used antibiotics is penicillin. This antibiotic was discovered by Alexander Fleming in the 20th century. Fungi can be found in the air, plants, or in water, and they are mainly transmitted through contact. Poor hygiene or poor sanitizing may be the reason why people get infected by fungi. In nature, mushrooms produce spores that travel in the air until they reach a place where they can germinate. Fungi are heterotrophs, meaning they feed on other living beings. That's why many fungi are decomposers. For example, some types of molds decompose fruits and vegetables to be able to feed themselves and grow. The substances they decompose are also sources of soil nutrients that plants and other living beings feed on. As you can see, fungi are very important for human beings and the planet. Thanks to them, we can make foods and medicines to cure diseases. They are also necessary for the vital processes in many biomes, as they're able to decompose organic material. That's all about fungi. Interesting, right? Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.